Thank you so much. Um, Mr. Zuckerberg, um, immediately after the Capitol insurgency, um, Cheryl Sandberg um, did an interview in which she insisted that the uh, siege was largely planned on smaller platforms um, that, uh, but court filings actually show something quite the, uh, quite the opposite, that the Proud Boys and Oath Keepers um, used Facebook to coordinate in real time during the, uh, during the siege. And so my question for you is, will you admit today um, that uh, Facebook groups in particular um, played a role in the uh, in fomenting the uh, extremism that we saw and that led to the uh, Capitol siege. Uh, Congresswoman, thanks for the, the, the question on this. In, in the comment that, that, that Cheryl made, what, what I, I believe that we were trying to say was, um, and, and, and what I stand behind, um, is what was widely reported at the time that uh, after no, January that, 6th. You know, I'm sorry to, to interrupt as um, many of my colleagues have had to do because we only have five minutes. But would you say that and would you ad admit that Facebook played a role? Congresswoman, I think certainly there was content on our services and um, and and from that perspective, I, I think that there's further work that we need to do to make our, our services I, I and, and moderation more effective. Uh, I, uh, hear one that. Of the things that I hear that. Okay, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Pichai uh, a, a question. Um, many companies have used Section 230 um, as a shield to escape um, consumer protection laws. And um, I have a bill that would actually not protect uh, companies that uh, that do that. And so, Mr. Pichai, would you agree that uh, that would be a proper um, use to not allow um, liability protection for those who um, uh, violate consumer protection laws? Uh, Congresswoman, uh, consumer protection laws are very important in many areas, like 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 we comply with COPPA and HIPAA. Uh, I think the right approach is to have uh, legislation in applicable areas and have us. Okay, I'm, us I'm, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to interrupt uh, again. Is that a yes? That if the, a law has been broken, a consumer protection law, that it would not. There would not be liability protection under Section 230 for you. We rely on the liability protections to actually take strong action in particularly new types of content. When the Christchurch shooting happens, within a few minutes, our teams have to make decisions about the content to take down. That certainty is what we rely on. Well, but I agree with you that we should have strong consumer protection laws and be subject to it. And have agencies like the FTC uh, have clear oversight uh, over those uh, laws and how we comply with them. Let me just ask a real yes or thank you, a real yes or no quickly. Do you think that when you take money to run advertisements that uh, promote disinformation, that you are exempt from liability? Yes or no? Yes or no? Uh, you know, Section two thirty, Mr. Zuckerberg. Yes or no, uh, Congresswoman. I don't. I don't know the the legal answer to that, but we don't allow misinformation in our ads, and any ad that's been fact checked is false. We don't allow it to run as an ad. Okay, and Mr. Dorsey. Uh, again, I, I also would need to review the the legal precedent for it, but um, we would uh, we would not allow that. Okay, and Mr. Pichai. Uh, we are subject to FTC's deceptive ad practices, so there are statutes which apply to us. Uh, we removed over 3 billion bad ads last year alone. Okay, let me ask um, one more question. Um, do you think that Section 230 should be expanded to trade agreements that are being made, as happened in uh, the U.S. Uh, trade agreement with Mexico and Canada? Yes or no? Mr. Zuckerberg. Congresswoman, 
My primary goal would be to help update Section 230 to reflect the, the, uh, the, the kind of modern reality and what we've learned over 25 years. But that said, I do still think that Section 230 plays a foundational role in the development of the internet and uh, okay. new companies getting built. I, I, I so so I do think talking, that we should I'm support it. I'm talking now about trade agreements, Mr. Uh, Pichai. Uh, Congresswoman, I think there's value in it, but if there are uh, evolution of Section 230, that should apply. And so in a flexible way, being able to do that uh, would, be, would be good, I think. Hmm. Mr. Dorsey. I don't fully understand the ramifications of what you're suggesting. So we have to review that. Any to, to have a liability shield that would be international and ratified in trade agreements. And I think it's a bad idea. Okay, gentlelady's time has expired. Okay, thank you. I yield thank back. 